Wednesday and Thursday, September 8th and 9th. Whoa, the sun's in Virgo, the moon's in Libra, and there's five planets in air. So we're going to be talking about the combination of Virgo and Libra. Both signs, what they have in common, what happens when a sign is apart, the sun and the moon, is there's some real similarities and then some real differences. The similarity of Virgo and Libra is they're both total perfectionists. They have such specific taste buds. They know exactly what they like and don't like. And because there's a grand trine in Earth that's continued, the sun is in Virgo, Uranus is in Taurus, Pluto's in Capricorn, this compulsion of perfectionism, the best thing can be is you have them working for you, or they're an artist, or they're a photographer, or they're on social media working on, or they're editing. This is the right use of the perfectionist, using the attention to get it right, but not when you're looking in the mirror. And not when you're looking at your husband or your wife. Leave the perfectionist out for that because the human and the way we look and our body types, all of it gives us a million reasons to feel self-conscious. And that's the low side of Virgo with Libra. They feel like they're not doing well enough. They feel like they don't look really pretty. And we all age and we all change. And the body is just an illusion. The truth is your soul behind the screens, behind the veil is so beautiful. So can we talk about five planets in air and why astrology is here to teach you your rising sign is your soul. So we don't talk about that in these videos. We talk about the sun and moon as describing the energy of the week or the day. When we talk about the rising sign, what we're talking about is your soul. And you have to figure that out with five planets in air I'm teaching you by what time you're born. And it can be within a two hour window if you don't know. And then once you figure out your rising sign, because I'm an esoteric astrologer, you want to aim at the rising, the ascendant, the higher self, not the ego and the sun and the moon. There's a little tidbit taught to you by Deborah Silverman, the astrologer. Look for your rising sign, figure it out and go to the high road. Back to what's going on in the sky. It is a time, Wednesday and Thursday, of getting things done because the moon's, sun in Virgo, moon's in Libra, balancing, but not at the expense of you feeling self-conscious. There's only one planet in water in the sky. So I'm going to tell you, everyone's going to feel the sense of ambition because it's Virgo and wanting to talk good. Wednesday and Thursday, communicate, over-communicate, say nice things to yourself and others, and you'll have fulfilled the sky. Sun of Virgo, Moon in Libra. The perfectionist turns into the generous love being who gives you all the positive feedback you need, just like they do to themselves. Look, we just changed it. Astrology Answer said, just change Virgo and Libra to a perfectionist that's kind. And I did. If you're like me, you're ready for more. And I have really good news. I'm teaching again. And I want to help you discover your significant planet or the planets that are really influencing your psychology. Because you have a purpose and a contract that you agreed to before you arrived here on this planet. And the quickest path that I found for figuring out your purpose is through studying first the planets. When you figure out that significant planet, there goes the confusion and suddenly you feel so much more comfortable being yourself. Click the link in the description to learn more about the planets, my very best friends.